How's it going, everybody? It's me, Waddles. It's me, Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, baby. It feels good to be back. Today, we kick off a brand new adventure and that juicy update. Over the course of this series that we're just moments away from, we'll be building the most beautiful builds, farming the most fantastic farms, and even luring the most luscious lore. We got one goal in mind, and it's pretty simple. This is going to be the best series that I have ever made. Smash like if you're hyped, subscribe for more episodes, and leave a comment for the comments of the day down below. Without further ado, let's go. Well, my friends, what did you think about that intro? Was it beautiful? Was it everything you ever dreamed for and more? I gotta be honest, I don't know what I said in that intro because I recorded after this bit right here, so <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> so please, please let me be frank with you. This moment right here is a moment I've been looking for for ages now. It's been so long since so we did the guide. I cannot wait to be back. For this world right here, we're gonna go with basically default uh, yeah, settings here, other than this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up to eight. We'll talk more about it later. It's gonna make it bodacious. The world seed? Oh, yeah, yeah, world seed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. For legal reasons, this image is blurred right now, but we, we'll come back to it a little bit later on in the episode. For now, I just want to play some Minecraft. So, bump it up to hard difficulty, and let's go. We'll let the world load for a second, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we made it a little scary at first, but wait, wait, what is that sound that I'm hearing? Echoing gently throughout my ears from a distant Swedish meadow, a land far, far away. Oh, the violins, they get louder and louder, at least I think they're violins, oh. <sighs> We're in that brash new world. It smells beautiful, <laughs> it sounds beautiful, and <laughs> I can't wait for this moment. I'm so happy. Minecraft guide, Minecraft guide, the new Minecraft guide, we're back. The sun slowly rises over the world, it's a beautiful world spawn. Look at what I found for us guys, we got a forest biome right here, we got flowers, the most delicate of flowers ever. We got taiga trees, we got a mushroom, we got a river right here, and oh my, what is that, the sky tower. We got a sky tower at world spawn too. Minecraft guide, brand new Minecraft world 1.20. My life is complete right now. I'm so happy. I, I don't even know what to do. As I watch the sun slowly rise over the sky on day one, I'm, I'm wasting time. We should get to work. For today's episode, episode number one, we got a simple goal going on here. And first things first, we walk over to the oak tree. It's the only way we can start things. We chop it down, drop a log on the ground, and pick it up. Recipes. We're in, my friends. We're in, we're in. Welcome to the Minecraft Guide. This right here is the very first crafting table of the world, and just like that, it's part of the tree. We return it back to nature. Now look, I'm not gonna be too sentimental about things inside of this world, but that's a very special tree. I don't think, legally, we can finish chopping that one down. We're gonna have to leave it like that forever. If I need a new crafting table, I have to make a new one. If I need more wood, I, I have to find a new tree and chop it down. Now, Minecraft Guide. Oh, it's been so long since I've actually made a Minecraft Guide episode. I think we're due for a little bit of a short explanation. The Minecraft Guide. What is it? The Minecraft Guide is not only the freshest Minecraft series around, but it's also kind of like a, a tutorial guide vibe series. This is a Minecraft series that is being kicked off inside of 1.20, and we'll just see how far we can take it. It's a series for new players. It's a series for old players. This is a series for short kings. It's a series for a... At tall queens, lads, laddies, and everybody. It's a series for everyone. In this series, we're gonna do it all. Including, inside of this series, we will make our very first wood tools. It's time, always oh, finally time. I wasted only like half of the day. Let's go ahead and actually make our very first device. All right, so for today's episode, we got a simple goal, a couple things in mind. What I like to do is get ourselves established inside of this beautiful land a little bit. To pull all of this off, we make a brand new set of wooden tools right there, pick them back up, and, and let's stop wasting time. How the day's going? When you make a brand new Minecraft world, there are a couple things you're going to want to get to right off the bat. Before the first nighttime, on day number one, you're going to want to find your bed, you're going to want to find food, and maybe you're going to want to consider finding some kind of shelter. All of that is going to amount to bed, food, shelter, or boofs for short. Hey, look, Cole! Oh, wow, this world is wonderful. Bed food, shelter, bed food, shelter. It's time we start venturing out a little bit from world spawn. We need to look around inside of this forest or maybe the taiga behind us for a sheep or two or three. Poor sheep, which poor sheep? Where are you? Poor sheep, I see you over there. Hello, my friend. 
Ah, uh, poor sheep, poor sheep. I'm so sorry about what I'm about to do. Look away, look away. You want to feel a thing. I'm sorry. We will have to find three sheep on day number one. Sheep number one, check done. Sheep number two, don't look, don't look. I, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll make a tribute. And sheep number three, good friend, dear friend. I'm, I'm so sorry. However, it was a necessary cost. With three wool, a check down. Bed is basically done. So if you didn't know, if you didn't hear about it somehow, Minecraft, it's a game all about mining and crafting. And in this game, all about mining and crafting, we're going to have to get ingredients to actually go ahead and mine. And Well, I, you don't really need ingredients to mine, but you need ingredients to craft things. Where was that beautiful tree that I set up a second ago? Hmm, somewhere over here. Ah, ah, the very first water in the world. You know, I have a newfound interest in real life of water, swimming, kayaking, going into the water in general, and just, just... Just going in the water. Yeah, yeah, perfectly put. Anyways, it's time for that very first honorary bed. Of course, you know how it goes. We will make the bed just like that, and then legally, we have to turn this bed into something a little bit more special here. We'll need a little bit of red dye. Found that from the ground. And just like that, the very first red bed, beautiful, of the world. Beds are pretty much the ticket to success inside of a brand new Minecraft world. With a bed created, you will not have to deal with anything bad until you want to deal with anything bad. Red bed, red bed, my friend, we will use this to set our spawn, we will use this to skip the dreadful night time. Now, with the bed out of the way, going in alphabetical order here, next up, it's time for food. We're gonna need to find food inside of this world. When it comes to food, we got a lot of different options. If you're near a body of water, one of the best options and one of the easiest things in the world is salmon, sweet salmon. With a wooden sword and a body of water right next to us, carefully, we can swim around in the water and smack some of the salmon out of existence, straight out of this world, and into our inventory. Because of how mobs spawn it works in Minecraft, salmon is not only going to be insanely easy to find early game, if you can find like a river or something, but also all you have to do is walk away from the river, walk back over, and more should have spawned. However, if we eat it like this, it's raw. We're not really getting its full potential here. Or... <laughs> Did I even get any potential? I, I got a little. So salmon is a pretty amazing find, but if you're near a taiga, my friend, there is another food that you can find inside of this thing, and it's so easy to farm too. You don't even need water or anything. You basically just need like a little bit of time. <sighs> and, and look at this, so sentimental all over this world. We have mobs all over the place. We have pig friend, we have sheep friend, we have chicken friend, we have sheep tree friend. I didn't even know you could climb. <laughs> you're so strong. Look, I'm sorry. Since I last recorded this series, my attention span has skyrocketed through the floor. <laughs> right, anyways, this is almost nighttime. On Minecraft, inside of your world, on day number one, eventually the sun will set. As soon as the sun starts to set and get a little bit darker, it's gonna get dangerous. I recommend dropping that bed that you got on the ground anywhere and jump into the thing. You don't even really need to worry about a house because if you're quick here, you jump into bed and just like that, day number two has begun. Now here's the plan. On day number two, we're gonna really hunker down here and get on that survival grind. We are going to scavenge this entire taiga biome right here for the one specific thing that I'm looking for. Though this food may not be a little bit better than salmon, it's gonna be food that I can eat without cooking, like right from the start, which is absolutely amazing. While we run around here inside of this taiga biome sentimentally together here, I would like to play a little game. Back near the beginning of this episode, when I was creating the world, I picked a world seed, but it's top secret information. For now, there will be a seed reveal on episode number five. Unless, unless, my friends, with just one hint, you are able to guess it down in the comments below. The world seed for this world is a word, and it is four letters. It relates to something somehow, but I already gave you too much information. If I am so enticed, so convinced by the correct guess down in the comments below, I will reveal the world seed to this world a little bit earlier than expected. But that will require a little bit of consistency, smart thinking, and grinding from you guys. Let's see if you can guess it down below. Friends, terrible news. I'm so sad to report that on this roller coaster of an episode, we now hit a low point. It's very sad. We may have just picked up our very first spruce log of the world, the most beautiful wood type, or maybe most second most beautiful wood type now, but. But sadly, I was not able to successfully locate the thing that I was looking for. But it's fine. It's fine. For the sake of moving the episode along, we will unfortunately have to abandon that project, but I promise, my friends, we will come back to it later. Rivers. I would like to talk a little bit about rivers, because early game, rivers are absolutely amazing. What I recommend doing early game is conserve your running as much as possible. 
If you have a body of water near your world spawn and you would like to explore, try and utilize that body of water. Now you gotta be careful because drowned may exist inside of that body of water, so swimming, eh, hey, it might not be exactly the move, but boating around to travel your world and maybe explore or sightsee a little bit, it's a genius idea. And it's pretty efficient too. With the bed situation check done and food, eh, we gotta start to it. We got a little bit of food. We're gonna need to now cook this stuff up. To cook it up, it's time we go ahead and upgrade our tools a little bit and go back over to that coal that I sighted a little bit earlier on. If I remember correctly, oh, beautiful, beautiful. A little bit of coal right down there. And is that iron too? Oh, but that's copper. So guys, as you know, if you've been following the videos lately, you know that I am so excited for 1.20. To be honest, 1.20 is my favorite update in a long time. Like maybe since the nether update, I I'm just in love with it. Speaking of the nether update, this is the very first Minecraft guide series that I have done since Minecraft 1.16. Yes, yes, that's right. The last guide that we did uh, ever was Minecraft 1.16 and I started it uh, like a million trillion years ago. No, 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 no. The skeleton that sees me. This is not good. No, 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 no. We can't deal with skeleton. Uh, no, no. You, you leave me alone. I need... <laughs> no, no. Pathetic. You're terrible. Divine. Improvise. Adapt. Overcome. Improvise. Adapt. Overcome. I don't really need the coal. It's fine. I lied. What I could go ahead and do is get our hands on a little bit more stone here. And you just you watch. I'm an inventive guy. I, I figure it out. I would do something different. We cannot deal with skeletons with the health and food situation looking like that. With our very first wooden pickaxe here, we move down to our nearest body of stone and mine it until we have like, I would say about 24 or so. That'll keep us set for a little while. With 24 stone, we'll be able to not only upgrade our tools a little bit, but we'll also be able to make the second most useful block in the entire game. What do you guys think about this plot of land right here? I mean, look, it's really not much. We got a forest around us. We got the water right there, and we got the nice biome in the distance. I mean, I, I think it's simple. For now, what I will go ahead and do is clear out some of these trees, and we'll call this home sweet home. Or in other words, shelter. When you make a brand new Minecraft world, find a bed. And after that, go ahead and find a little bit of food. And then finally, it's time for shelter. I do not recommend exploring for too long inside of a world on day one. Pick somewhere that is kind of okay to live, like maybe not a desert in the middle of nowhere, and settle down. Ideally, we would have gone down into that cave and picked up a little bit of coal too, and to make that situation a little easier. But we do have an alternate option. If you can't find any coal early game, you can actually take the logs inside of a furnace and turn the logs into the coal or like the the fake coal now this is not exactly going to be the most efficient way of doing things but it will work early game what we're looking for here is a campfire if we're gonna cook food hands down it's all campfire give it a little bit of time and our furnace has finished its job over here we have a little bit of charcoal Back over inside of the crafting table, if we tap this book on Minecraft Java, we get all of the recipes that we currently know in the game. You'll unlock recipes on Minecraft Java and Bedrock soon by basically just picking things up. The wonderful recipe that we're looking for right here, the golden ticket to success for this episode, is going to be a campfire. It's a little bit expensive, but it will be wonderful. Now we'll think long and hard about where we're going to put this campfire and then just slap it down on the ground right there. If we place the campfire down and then pick it back up, it actually breaks and we'll have to recraft it. So think about it. Anyways, I think I was trying to say something sentimental before that skeleton interrupted me a little while ago. I haven't done a Minecraft guide since 1.16, and since 1.16, there have been so many changes. Like, not only has the world gotten a ton deeper, but terrain has been beautified, armor is so much more wonderful, and there are so many new blocks as well. I really can't wait to check out all of this stuff, and build farms for it all, and really just do everything over the course of this series together. Anyways, we give it a little bit of time, and just like that, the food is spit out of the campfire. With food successfully spit out of the campfire, we go ahead and eat it, and actually start getting our hunger back up. Now, playing a game on hard difficulty, or even normal difficulty, once your hunger gets a little bit lower, your health will stop refilling. We must manage it. And uh, to manage that situation, all we need to do is have a consistent supply of food. Later on, we will build a beautiful food farm. It will be glorious and wonderful, but for now, poor fish, your sad fish. It will have to do. And so that's almost it. The very final thing that I think we need to get done to be in a good possession for today's episode is make us some stone tools and cook up that food. And to set up a couple goals, Minecraft Guide, this brand new season. Over the course of this season, we will be progressing things quickly, but not too quickly. 
My goal here is to take out the Ender Dragon before episode number 25. After we do that, we go ahead and move on to bigger and better things. Hey, uh, it's me, Editals here. Just cutting in to say that today's episode is a little slower because it's like episode number one, you know, the great intro and everything like that. Even the next episode, we'll do more. I promise. Another goal that I've got for us here over the course of this world is to farm quite literally everything. I, I feel like I said this before, but it just never happened for whatever reason. Going forward, my plan here is to make this the best guide series ever. To make that happen, we'll combine the best guide season, season three, with the last main series, the survival. For me in this world, you can expect amazing tips and tricks, really cool farms, useful builds, but also a little bit of spicy lore as well. This is gonna be fun. On top of the other content I cook up, I'm gonna try and drop like two episodes of this series a week. Patrons get early access to the episodes, tap the link down below for more. And I, a lot of information, but I think finally here, the final thing I like to talk about today is today's comment of the day. That's right, that's right, you go hold the applause, but for this series, the comment of the day segment is back. However, for this episode, being episode one and all, I wasn't able to pick a comment from the previous episode. So, I went to Twitter gang. I got a lot of amazing comments and questions, but I think the best one that relates to this episode is gonna be all about the world seed. How did I pick the seed and what do I know about it? Oh, it's a beautiful question, really, and perfectly fitting. Now, before I insert the clip of me answering the world seed and wrapping up the episode, I would like to do a tiny, tiny bit of exploring here because world seed, to be honest, I don't know very much about it. From the looks of things here, it looks like we have a beautiful forest right over here and a birch forest and a taiga. Right off the bat, we're gonna have access to like one, two, three wood types. I, lo I love it. I can't wait to build inside of this world. Moving back into the forest, of course, over there we got Sky Tower. Oh, it's beautiful, gorgeous. Gonna have to shape something on that for sure. Over here, we have a small little cave. That should hopefully get us started. If I can uh, clear up the trash inside of it. Hmm, and let's get at a horizon line over this way. It looks like we have more and more forest. Exploring is hands down easily. One of my favorite things to do in Minecraft and exploring episode with 1.20. Oh, you already know. We're gonna have to do that soon. I have so many hopes, dreams, and goals inside of this world, including hopefully eventually getting like every armor trim. Maybe building some kind of wonderful museum or something like that. It looks like we got a lot of surface caverns over here too. That's gonna be pretty cool. Well, those are some eggs. I'll take them. I guess the one downside about this seed is, unless we have a taiga village over inside of the taiga, there's probably not going to be a village too close to world spawn here, but it's fine. I think I can make do. Oh, uh, my, my, my. Walking back over to world spawn here to roll the answer to that question. It looks like I found something else over there, too. <laughs> I didn't know about that. To find the world seed that we'll be using for this new guide season, I did do a little bit of seed exploring, but not too much. When it came to criteria for our beautiful world, this basically came out of one thing. And that thing, oh, it's gotta be that inspirational landscape. For our world, I didn't really care too much about structures or even how close things are to world spawn. I just care if things actually exist in the world and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> did I choose the wrong seed? Because this one is like... Well, this is gorgeous too. Wow. I can't wait to find beautiful monsters like these in the guide. Oh, it's gonna be great. For this new guide, World Seed, I know a tiny bit about it, but not like a lot. For example, I have no clue where the structures are, but I do kind of know what we have going on here at World Spawn, and I do know of another beautiful thing inside of this world. Inside of this series, my plan is to quite literally go over everything inside of Minecraft, including the menu, all these game rules, and everything like that, but I think what we're gonna do is save all of this type of stuff for a little bit later on. I got some ideas, some plans, but to keep it spicy for now, We'll talk about it later. And so, my friends, with 32 salmon cooked up inside of the inventory, and wooden tools, and stone tools, a beautiful red bed, the most iconic trio, and a tiny bit of shelter set up here at World Spawn, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, the plan is to progress this world a little bit farther and make it look even more beautiful. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know by tapping like, subscribe for more episodes, and thank you all so much for watching. You're the best. It's been me, Waddles, back inside of the Minecraft guide, and oh my gosh, it feels so good. I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.